Welcome to episode 32 and I'm motion along inclined plane which is still on the mechanic dynamic series that we are doing uh, and this episode based on the premise of episode 24. So a mass of 10 kg is placed on a rough plane inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. So what force parallel to the plane is required a to hold the mass at rest b just to make it move up the plane so these are the uh, the uh, informations we need let's see if we can make a sketch of that plane maybe somewhere here okay so if we can uh, make this sketch the angle of inclination for the question is 30 degrees then this force that is exerted by the plane on the body or on the mass is upward. That is our, uh, the, how do you call it? The normal word reaction. That is the force moving upward. Then we also have a force of gravity going down as mg, the cos of theta. This is the weight of the body. Then at this point, the the surface is rough, so there is a friction uh, applied here. So meaning that the friction is going to be moving upward if the body is attempting to move down. So the friction is moving this way. Then there is a particular force parallel to the plane, which is also moving this way. Since both are equal, the body will be in that place. But there will be a particular force, which is also uh, pushing it, not to overcome the friction so it push it hold friction hold so the body is still there not moving so the body is at rest based on that push by that force all right so we can call that one word p and there is also a force of gravity acting on the body which is going in the opposite direction so that is going to be our mg sine word theta all right that force going down what do we do? These are the informations we have. So let's say uh, resolving the force along the plane. Let's resolve the force. So if we have to resolve the forces that are along the plane, you can see this force that is moving this way is what we are calling uh, the mg sine theta. So that is moving in the opposite direction, right? So as the push and the fr uh, friction are moving in the same direction, we can say that the upward force, the force acting against it up, is going to be uh, compared to the forces holding it down. And, and that force must be equal. Both must be equal. So their subtraction will give us zero to make the body be in equilibrium. So I can say the upward forces minus the downward forces giving us zero. So I will have the upward force, which is P plus this minus the downward force, Mg sine what? Theta, supposed to give us what? Zero. But don't forget, this is a limiting force. So we are going to have the coefficient of what? Friction attached to it. I can only say that, but F equals to coefficient of friction times what? The... Um, Normal reaction. This is explained extensively in the first part, which is the mechanic, static mechanics. You can get those information from there. So if I am going to do substitution into it, uh, what will happen? I should be having P plus coefficient of this R equals, I think that's minus, Mg, the sign of what? Theta. So by substitution, Going back into picking the information I can see, P will be added on by coefficient of friction as 0 0.4 times the normal reaction, which is unknown in this case, minus the mass of the body, which is 10 times force of gravity, 10 times the sine of the angle, what? 30, which is 30 degrees. I know sine 30 will be half. 10 times 10 will be 100. Half of that will be 50. So I should be having 
what I want having. All these must be equals to zero, right? So I should be having um, what do I do? T plus zero point four R. Uh, okay, let me still have minus what fifty equals to zero. So P plus zero point four R should be equals to what fifty. So at this point, P is unknown. R is unknown. So nothing further can be done from here until we look into the question and find one of them. So this is going to be equation one. We did resolving forces along the plane. How about resolving the forces which are perpendicular to the plane? This is perpendicular by uh, west, west form. I just want to conserve speed. So forces perpendicular, we have the normal reaction by the, the plane against the body. Then there's a force of gravity acting on the body, which are divided into two forms, this and this. And this mg cos theta is the one that is perpendicular to the face. So it means that the, the two forces must give us zero to make, make the body still remain as one, well, where it is. So the normal reaction minus the mg cos theta should be also zero, which is in the actual sense from episode 24, we mentioned that this is equals to the mg cos theta. So let's see by substitution how we can uh, proceed from here. So right from here, we can say that our r will be equals to all of this is going there, which is the mass of the body. Where do we have the mass of the body? The mass of the body is 10 times gravity, 10 as well, then the cos. Of the angle what 30 degrees I guess we can put all this in our calculator having 100 this uh, value so let's see 100 cos 30 that will be we are going to have uh, 86 86.60 so 6 is a force so we can have this so now this can be put into equation 1 that implies that from equation one, can I say I have P plus four, that is 0 0.4 times normal reaction, 86.6, .6. result I need is what? 50. So the force parallel to the surface is going to be equals to 50 minus, when we multiply 0 0.4 by 86.6, .6, and that will give us 34.64. And by subtraction, that will give you 15.36 uh, Newton. So the force parallel to the surface that will hold the body at rest, not from moving down or moving up, is going to be 15.36 Newton. All right. Then let's look at the final one. We are looking at for that force which is still parallel to the, the surface, right? The plane. Which is just to make the body work move up the plane. We are looking for that force, which is the P. This force will have to supersede the, the frictional force out there. Or supersede any other forces. So as the push goes up, the body begins to move. Friction always acts in the opposite direction to movement. So as speed goes up, the force of uh, frictional force will move backwards in the same direction as mg uh, sine theta. So upward force minus the downward force. So I can say that uh, from there, what will it be? Uh, well, I think P minus... The, the force is moving down, which is mg sine theta plus frictional force moving down, which I will use directly the coefficient times what? The normal reaction. This and this, when you subtract, that will give you what? Zero. Let's click here. So what do we do? We can now do our substitution, still looking for that force. In this case, this is the force we are looking for. So, P minus 10 times 10, the sine of 
30 degrees minus, I think this is plus, 0 0.4 times H6.6 or equals what? Zero. I think I can easily move this. 100. So 50 P minus 50 plus. As you multiply this, what do we do first? As we multiply, we get 34.64. So this is still equal to zero. Let's have our force minus, this will be 84.64 equals to zero. Transpose that, your force become 84.64 Newton. So I can now conclude by saying that the force required to make the body just to move up will be 84.64, I guess. This is also understood. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and join us as we keep learning together. Bye.